It's time for the Songcast Indie Artist Insider. Providing tips, tricks, and sound advice on how to succeed in the music business. Hello, I'm Joe Cleon, host of Spotlight on SongcastRadio.com, and today's Indie Artist Insider deals with recording and archiving. If you are making music, selling your music online, playing gigs, or any combination of the three, recording and archiving is very important. Many times during gigs, in large venues or small, it's very easy to have the house sound man, if it's not your own, record the feed from the main board. Bring blank CDRs to gigs, purchase a small digital recorder. Many are available with large recording capacities, and they're easily connected to a computer. That way you can use the audio for future projects, maybe in video from the show. You can add better audio, maybe as separate tracks that you can release as live tracks. Make sure you archive this stuff, you never know when you might need to use it. Try and find fan photos that you can share on social networks. Hire a professional photographer for some gigs so you have good live photos. Also, good promo photos. If you have terrible photos representing the band, it definitely doesn't give a good first impression. In short, archive everything. Save show flyers, record as much as possible, audio and video. Make sure you capture photos from important moments in the band's history. This material will not only prove valuable for future projects, but it's also a great memento, a great time capsule as you get older to die document and revisit your musical past. If you have a question you would like to hear explored on future editions of the Indie Artist Insider, email joe at songcastradio.com. Tell your friends about Songcast Radio, featuring tens of thousands of indie artists from around the world. Free to stream on songcastradio.com. 